What's up, guys? This is your boy, uh, The Variant Hood. I hope you're not getting tired of me. I'm still here in New York. And the next interview I have up is with Lucio Perillo. Lucio is one of my good friends. Um, we talked about art. We talked about Italy. We talked about surfing. We talked about martial arts. Man, this is my type of guy. And he's one of the best carnival artists and comics in the world, coming all the way from the Canary Islands over here to New York for you guys and to come talk to me as well. Please give a big applause for my uh, my homeboy. He is my homeboy, Lucio Perillo. Hey, what's going on, friends? And welcome back to the Hood Rap Podcast. And uh, guess who I got on the podcast today? I got Lucio Perillo, man. It's like... um. So me and Lucio, like, uh, he's been going to San Diego Comic Con for years, right? Yeah. But I actually met him for the first time um, this year in 2023. Um, I was walking, you know, outside in the halls, outside of the exhibit hall. Right, right. And um, I bumped into him, and I saw the Hanson shirt, and I looked up, and I was like, is that Lucio Prillo? Like, <laughs> is, is he? It, he's wearing a surfboard shirt, but is, can he surf? And I was like, Lucio, do you surf? And he was like... Yes, of yes. course. <laughs> He's a re- this dude's like a regular shredder, man. And he has, like, you have another Instagram, like, it shows you in a tube. Is that, that's a real picture. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's hard to do, man, to get a tube. And to get it on camera is even <laughs> harder, right? Like, um, I think uh, the last two, real good tube I got, because I'm a surfer too, you guys know, um, was I had a GoPro, and I had, I'll show it to you. And I had it right here, and I was getting tube. And I think I stopped surfing for like a year because I was like, I finally got it on camera. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, it's it's like that though, right? Because like yeah, the yeah, perfect yeah. wave and that perfect tube is like, yeah. it comes maybe once in a in a year, no? <laughs> once in a year or like once every like three years. Like yeah. you 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 get into tubes and you almost make them, and you're like, damn, I could have made it, but that one perfect right, tube where right. everything slows down, yeah. and yeah. you see the little lip and you kind of duck the lip. <laughs> People don't know like time stops of in course, a, of course, did, yeah. when you were in that tube. Did time stop? Yes, exactly. You feel like uh, everything is uh, it's not moving. Uh, it's like slow motion, right? Yeah, it's like slow motion. You can see the water dripping down. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's a trip, huh? And it feels like you're going back in time or something, like you're going through like some vortex, yeah, right? Yeah. Does that help you when you're like doing your art, man? Like, because uh, I know sometimes when I get like um, overwhelmed, I think about like the perfect wave and it kind of gets me in a good mood and gets me like uh, rolling on the right track. Does it do that for you too? Yeah, uh, you know, like working all day, sitting on a chair and drawing. Uh, after that, I need to jump in the water at the end of the day, Yeah. if I can. Yeah. Because when I'm in Italy, I surf just a little bit sometimes, but uh, in Canary Island, I can surf uh, like every day. So yeah. And uh, it's, I download all the stress in the water uh-huh. and uh, helps me to to refresh uh-huh. my mind because otherwise if I if I don't stop I, I could uh, draw and work uh, maybe 24 hours non-stop mm-hmm. and uh, I, I became like a little uh, crazy so yeah. I need to, to at one point to stop and then do something uh, like moving running doing any any kind of uh-huh. sport any kind of things that is action mm-hmm. so surfing is the perfect things because you, you yeah. jump in the water you get the energy from the from the from the water, from the mm-hmm. from the earth, you know. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's like another world. It's like um, uh, I don't know. There is some st- st- study about that that oh. you you you, uh, you recharge your energy mm-hmm. uh, touching the 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 earth things, so mm-hmm. the ground with your feet or with your hands, uh, and uh, we're too much used to not do that yeah. because we live in the cities, always with the shoes, uh, always with the with the yeah, yeah. wall Air around condition and, and, and yeah. yeah so uh, I, I feel uh, that I, I I need sometimes to stop with the with the normal life uh, in, in a city where uh-huh. there is uh, uh, I don't know in English c- cement oh well, uh, like uh, the um, like uh, in a city concrete, the concrete, concrete, yeah, the concrete. Uh, around and uh, touch the sand with my feet mm-hmm. touch the grass uh, be in the water uh, you, you feel that difference. You feel the, yeah. the energy from the from the real uh, mm-hmm. nature, no? Yeah. So uh, that's really important. And like you know, the post surf is like a total high. It's like a natural high. Like you just you, f- you can still feel yourself like sitting on the board sometimes. Yeah. After a really good exactly, session, exactly. you know, like right, like you're right, right. really like yeah. buoyant and you're you're grounded. Yes. You know, yes. like um, when did you start surfing? When did, how long have you been surfing? Uh, it, it's not 
much because I start. I start. Uh, uh, I always love uh, looking people surfing. Yeah. Uh, because uh, since I were uh, young, I was like about uh, 24. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to come to California for uh, for the Comic Con. Oh yeah. But as a visitor. Uh, so I was coming f and looking for uh, for work, no. Mm -hmm. So I had my portfolio and I uh, yeah. was doing uh, interview and really? uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, with awesome. with, the, with the editors, uh -huh. and uh, and then I started looking these uh, these people doing surfing in the water. I said, wow, this, this is incredible. So really? I say, I wonder if I can do that in Italy because uh, we are surrounded by uh -huh. by water, by by sea, but. I, I never see waves, and when I see waves, it's just storm coming. So it's uh, bad weather. It's cold. Uh, there is rain, yeah. uh, and I say I don't think it's possible. But then I, I discovered that it's possible to do that yeah. in Italy. So uh, I start surfing in Italy, you know, sometimes because yeah. we we all we have to wait the, the storm coming, and uh, it has to be like it it's so maybe uh, in, in a month you yeah. get a storm for uh, three days. And people and don't understand; all. it has to be in a winter. Like yes, winter time, really, yeah, yeah. You get, there's no surf in summers. Like our surf time was no, no, cold, yeah, exactly, raining, exactly, exactly. and all that, right? Yeah. So, yeah. and uh, so summertime is flat, completely flat, flat totally like a flat, pool. Right. And uh, uh, the winter time is uh, the time when the storm coming, mm -hmm. and you get maybe three days in um, in a month, and then you have to jump in the water at five in the morning yep. with cold. the first light. Is it cold? Fre there in freezing. It's freezing. No, not Italy. cold. It's freezing. Yeah. Like uh, zero degrees, uh, two degrees. Oh, jeez. So you get, you need the, like a very thick. You were like the five four. Yeah. With you, the hoodie. Yeah. No, no, booties. Five four is not enough. Sometimes you have to to buy the five. Uh, yeah, the five five. Yeah. Whoa. And uh, really? the hood and the, the gloves. The gloves. Shoes. Yeah, yeah. It's really free. like your your face is really freezing. Like you, when you when you duck dive. Yeah. You got this. Uh, the ice cream headache. It's an impact on yeah. your face. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's horrible. <laughs> and then you got the the water. And inside. sometimes the water goes up in your back. Ah, that, yeah. that's that's bad. But, but it's the best, though, right? Like. But you know, like you you force yourself to do that in the water, five in the morning because it's the only chance you have to for for surfing. So, yeah. uh, then you swim outside and you you start catching waves and you got getting yeah. warm. Uh, moving yourself, you got uh, warm a little yeah, you, bit. You paddle out. Yeah, yeah. paddle out. Uh, and, and then you stay maybe five, eight hours in yep. the water. You have to because until, until you die, because uh, it's the only day you can surf. Yeah. Because the, maybe the day after it starts yeah. getting smaller, smaller and smaller. Yeah. So the first day is the, the day you have to do maybe five hours nonstop yep. without eating and drinking. It's it's crazy. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> so how do you how do you mix in? Because I know you know as a surfer, man. Like um, when I was really surfing hard, like you know, like. You you have you, you get this like kind of you become like a, a a crack fiend like you know like you're addicted to it uh -huh. and yeah, with, yeah. when you don't have it you're grumpy you're like yeah, yeah, where, exactly. where, where's right, the waste right. so is that when you is that when you when you do your when you paint and and uh, and do your art and and work yeah it's a is a is almost the same uh, sensation I mean uh, I'm addicted to to surf and drawing at yeah. the same time so if I don't draw. I don't paint for uh, for a week. Yeah, uh, I feel like I'm I'm missing something, and the same thing for surfing. Yeah. Uh, so even if I if I go to holiday somewhere, I, I never take holidays. No. But if I can take a the holiday, holidays when the swell comes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So the only the only <laughs> <laughs> the only holiday I take is uh, when there is a storm coming and I can surf, and and then I forget about the work. I but forget people about forget, right? You can. You can look at all the maps, try to like predict the the, the swell or the storm, yes. and sometimes it don't come. You're like, dude, I planned my whole month right, around right, yeah, this exactly, thing. You exactly. know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens when that happens, man? Are you like bummed and? Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, the, the thing is that even if I take holidays for other reasons, like going to I don't know, maybe um, walking around the city, I bring with me the work and I keep working. Uh -huh. So I, I never stop drawing and painting, even if I'm going somewhere somewhere mm -hmm. uh, and uh, surfing because you know you, you, you are kind of addicted yeah so, uh, for me uh, is yeah. uh, is not working for me it's like uh, uh, passion f uh, is what make me alive it's what gives you the energy yeah it's yeah. what make me alive because yeah, without yeah. doing um, uh, this 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 yeah. work uh, uh, I feel like uh, I'm de depressed you know yeah, so yeah. and the same thing for surfing is the uh, is uh, one of the Top things that uh, I need to do uh, mm -hmm. every day, every month, every every <laughs> every time. 
So the best is uh, uh, working all day and then in the evening a couple of hours surfing uh, w when I can, yeah. of course. Uh, that's why I love San Diego because... Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, when you come next year, you know yeah. where we're going. We're, we're yeah. surfing I, every day, man. I, I, I used to come... You come, you come like, are you going to come in June or July? Yeah, usually uh, I used to come for uh, two or three months okay. before the Comic-Con. Yeah, yeah. So I can enjoy California because I love uh, the, the San Diego area. I yes. love uh, surfing there, but I love also the people, like the, um, the, the mood, the California lifestyle. The vibe, huh? Uh, yeah, exactly. It, it's another thing. It's yeah. uh, like very, very friendly people. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's something that uh, uh, it's a, it's a, how it's, it's a totally opposite thing of New York, because here in New York, Everybody gets off at five o'clock. I, I can see like when I'm trying to grab on a yeah. subway, I'm like, I'm gonna get. I need to get to the subway before three thirty. Yeah. But here in California, everybody gets off at three thirty, <laughs> <laughs> or they don't work at all. Yeah, because you know, like it's um, a, a New York is more like Rome and Milano or yeah. uh, Paris, London. Yeah. Uh, California is another world. It's another world. It's like a, it's it's another another world. world so th I, I like going there and stay a couple of months working there. And waiting for uh, for the Comic Con uh, to to. Yeah. Uh, oh, but you but if you come three months before, you're like in the middle of spring and there's surf everywhere. Yes. All the beach yeah. breaks are going off, man. It's just like you just pick right. a peak on the beach, you know. Yes. Yes. Okay. And what I, what I like about uh, uh, the people in uh, in San Diego or uh, whatever in California uh -huh. is that they wake up in the morning like at five. I have yeah. friends. They wake up at five. Surf two hours, going to work, yep. and then go back surfing uh, at the sunset. Yep. So this is uh, incredible. It's no? a California because, uh, lifestyle, yeah. man. San Diego lifestyle. That's, that's the Diego. perfect life for me. Would be the perfect life. You ever think about moving to California, man? Like, <laughs> yeah. Right. Right now, I'm living in Canary Island, yeah, and yeah. Uh, oh, but you, you're in. Surf. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Surf, that's yeah. what I, what I do there. Like, yeah. uh, but you used to live in Florence, right? Yes. But did you guys move to Canary Island? Yes, yeah, because yes, you want to surf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Florence is an amazing city. It's, it's beautiful. Amazing, man. Uh, yeah. We are surra you are surrounded by art uh, and uh, every kind of uh, museum, gallery. You're surrounded by like the classics, yeah. man. Of course. You it's, know, it's like Dante a, and, uh, you know. Uh, exactly. Yeah. It's an open uh, museum. Yeah. Right? Uh, it literally is. It's like you're walking a walking yeah, yeah. city museum, man. Exactly. The fact that you go near the church, it's like. It right, looks like right. a movie. Yes. Yeah. Every every church you get yeah. in, you find some nice paintings, sculptures. Yeah. So it's incredible. It's incredible. But the only thing is, uh, it's cold. Winter is really cold. Oh really? Okay. And uh, and you can surf. I mean, you, you could, uh, but you don't live on the water. So when, when I was in Florence, I used to drive to the to the coast. Uh huh. Like that? What's that? that like a Cinque Terre? Uh, Around that area? Yeah, you can surf uh, in uh, Liguria. Okay. Uh, and Tuscany. Oh, okay. All the cost is, okay. is All very good for okay. surfing, okay. but the same thing. You surf uh, only if you get the storm. Mm -hmm. You have maybe one day in a month. Yeah. Sometimes you you surf a little bit more, uh, but it's really cold. Yeah. Really, really cold. That's the thing. And you have to drive uh, maybe two hours from Florence to go to the to the main place. Yeah. And uh, doesn't mean it's working today. So maybe you drive two hours. There is traffic. It uh, costs a lot of gasoline yeah. and uh, everything. You get there and there is maybe wind, strong wind from the ocean. That sucks. That sucks. For a day. So yeah. you say, oh, shit. It's, uh, it's, it's like a waste a day. A waste yeah, a day. Yeah, waste a day. Yeah. So I, I used to have a did camper. Have, did the surf line cover? The surf line cover? Uh, um, you know surf line? Uh, no, I'll show it to you after. Okay. Yeah, it's, okay. A, it's a way you can tell where the waves are at. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yes, so you, you mean the, the website? Yeah, the website. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 yeah, covers, it covers yeah. Italy? Yeah, we have. Wow, few really? Different, yeah, no way. But we have also different other local um, forecast. Yeah, but they are not. We yeah. are not very precise because. You yeah, you know there is uh, the the right wind. Yeah, and uh, you go there, but the time you drive there, you get there, everything mm. changed very easily. It goes like onshore, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So maybe you 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 spend uh, like one day just waiting for yeah, yeah. Uh, for the for the wind to to yeah. drop down. And uh, you save one hour in the in the other sunset. Yeah. The day after is too small, so you say oh, I wasted yeah. one day and I now I have to drive. And back. then you're like you're like man, I could have worked, dude. Exactly. I was the same way too, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I found out the solution was uh, uh, <laughs> I, I had a camper, yeah. camper caravan. So I bring everything in the camper. I sleep there. I stay like three four days waiting for the right moment. 
and uh, in the in the meanwhile, I, I draw and paint in the camper. Oh, oh, good, that's good. So I I used to do that for years. So mm. living like a gypsy in a camper, yeah. waiting for for the right time to surfing. Hey man, I lived the life too, man. And, uh, yeah, and drawing. Yeah. It's the best. So there was like all, all the all the friend uh, surfers on the beach waiting for yeah. for uh, for the wind, and I was in the camper drawing. Working. Yeah. So that, that's a good uh, good chance. How, you know, uh, how does um. Because you know you have to you have to have a very understanding like girlfriend or wife. How does Carla feel uh, okay. about the surfing? She doesn't understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a problem. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, right? <laughs> so it's, it's she can She's not here to speak for herself. So, yeah, exactly, but exactly. it's it, you gotta you know it's like to have a surfer wife or surfer girlfriend. It, it's like it's a very special person. Exactly. You know. Now you know like we are lucky because we have um, the passion for art, yeah, and that's yeah. a, an, an amazing thing, but not for surfing. Yeah. So yeah. since I'm with Carla. Uh, I'm <laughs> surfing less. Uh, I don't go. She won't like me. She, if we get together. She, will, I don't think we'll be. We'll yeah, disappear yeah. for like two days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, hey, yeah. Lucio, bro. There's a Rincon. Yeah, I see. that the swell's hitting, bro. Right, like this right. three day thing. Like Carla, I gotta go for three days. Yeah, How would she, she? She would like be like, nah. Yeah, nah. She, she's a, she says she's a surfer widow. Surfer widow. She, because she stay like hours on the, on the beach waiting for me to, to get out of the water. Sometimes she, she just uh, leave and she say, okay, you go and <laughs> I stay home. She get upset every time. Uh, so uh, it, it, it's okay, like, because we, we share the passion for art. Yeah. And but we, surfing we, is an art, too. You exactly, know, when you're surfing exactly. and you're making lines, you're like, you're painting on a wave. You know, you're, like, you're painting the wave. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. if you make really good lines and really good curves, a really good surfer, that's like art. Exactly. Like you exactly. can watch Kelly Slater. Like his like <laughs> his uh, cutback is so beautiful, yes, man. Like yes. the paint, the the line he creates on that. You know you. Yeah, of you, course. Yeah, yeah like, I understand perfectly. It's a whole body. Like your your yeah. your body's the paintbrush. You know, right? Right, right. Yeah. So let's get to art, man. Like I know we could talk about surfing all day, guys. But <laughs> <laughs> you're 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 a fine you're a fine artist, man. Like. Did you did you train uh, in fine art prior to like becoming a, 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 a cover artist? You know, you know like a, you yeah, know like I, a, I didn't do any any fine art school. Okay. I just uh, started since I was a kid because my father is a painter. Oh really? And sculptor. So you okay? So I had my father uh, teach me and uh, um, training me. That's good. Uh, but I didn't do a very uh, particular uh, school for art. You just had uh, you you like it's uh, you were born with it like you're in a born in a home of like yes a, a yeah bar. you know in Italy we have uh, uh, high school you can choose high school art mm -hmm. and that's what I did mm -hmm. uh, when when I was like 13 14 mm -hmm. and that was a very, very important thing yeah. but then I didn't do a, I did an academy of art in Italy but it's okay. uh, honestly was like a, the worst experience really because this is uh, it, they stifle you, or yeah. Uh, I, it, they, they, they used to teach me uh, like um, crazy things, like you just throw what? stuff on the canvas. <laughs> and it was like wasting time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because the, these people is uh, like you know, like they comes from uh, in Italy. We had uh, in the seventies, uh -huh. there was like a st uh, student revolution, mm -hmm. and they try to to. Uh, cut off the traditional uh, art uh -huh. and they introduce new kind of style so mm -hmm. crazy things that yeah. you I don't know you spit on the canvas you, you put your fingers on oh, it so, so uh, I I don't want to say that this is bad because it can be yeah. can be cool uh, because be you creative. can express yourself uh, yeah. any a, 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 with any kind of uh, uh, any way art uh, solution any yeah, card yeah, yeah. yeah. any art is is a free expression of yourself mm -hmm. but in a, in academy before doing that it's important to train the students uh, and uh, with some rules you know you know you have to learn uh, the rules and the techniques from the past first yeah so that you have to learn uh, perspective anatomy light and shadows and uh, how to draw yeah. How to make uh, beautiful like, things uh, like the Italian Renaissance? Like exactly. you have to learn the body and the, and exactly. the physics. Exactly. You of have the, to yeah. study the old masters. Mm -hmm. You have to go to museums, learn from them. Because I, le I remember, like when I went to Italy, I went to Florence, and like um, we went to this one place in Italy where they would like they would cut up the body, 
and they were like learn the anatomy, the artist, mm -hmm. so they can actually yeah. paint yeah. it, right? Yeah. So before uh, became, uh, so if you want to become a crazy new artist uh, in the in the industry, it's okay. But first, you have to learn uh, how to make uh, mm -hmm. real art. Mm -hmm. It's like music. Imagine uh, you, if you if you study, you want to become a a, a very good. Uh, uh, guitar um, uh, player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to learn from the from the best. Yeah, yeah. First, you have to learn uh, classical first. Of course, and then if, move if on. You, yeah, if you yeah. wanna become a singer, you have to train your voice. Yeah. If you wanna become a dancer, you have to train for real. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a dancer, and I will never be because uh, to become a real uh, professional dancer, you have to learn how to stretch your body. Mm -hmm. You have to train hours and hours, very hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, the same with art. Yeah. If you want to become a good artist, uh, uh, you have to train very hard. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, drawing uh, uh, since I was a kid yeah. for uh, I don't know 12 hours a day mm -hmm. in the evening, in the night, uh, and that was uh, uh, was is, is the real important thing to become a good artist, good mm -hmm. uh, dancer, good uh, I don't know sports uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, surfer. Or a kickboxer, yep. or uh, I don't know, whatever. You gotta know. You got. You have to know. You have to know the. Um, Every, you, ha you have to have a good base, right? You have to know exactly, technique, exactly. like like uh, like just technique, right? Sure, like, sure. Yeah. Basic e everything. basic technique. Right? E everything. Every sport. Every every um, kind of uh, art, like martial art, yeah. and uh, this kind of art need uh, you to train yep. very hard. So you can just wake up uh, at one point of your life and say, "I'm an artist." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that yeah, doesn't work yeah. like this. It takes it takes work. Yeah, exactly. Even if you want to become a very good architect, yeah, you need to train. Uh -huh. Otherwise, your your buildings is gonna drop drop down and yeah. you kill people, right? Yeah. So art is the same thing. You have to train. And uh, many academy in Italy, uh, they don't wanna uh, study. They don't wanna uh, teach people how to study. Uh, they just uh, wanna cut this uh, this part of your uh, life uh -huh. and they just want to jump in uh, I want to become famous they want to over yeah, you want the overnight yeah. stuff right yeah Without they just want to wake up one day and say I'm a famous artist uh, that's what I do I just uh, I just throw, throw. I just uh, I don't know kick my <laughs> my canvas with uh, with the feet uh, I, I throw blue on the canvas and I'm a famous yes yeah. so that, that that's very bad so I did uh, uh, the, the Academy of Art in Rome mm -hmm. Uh, and they teach me uh, very stupid things mm -hmm. for for four years. Uh, so it was a, the, the worst experience, and uh, that's why I say I, I I learn my techniques by myself because I was going home and just uh, try to make experience with uh, canvas paper colors uh, mm -hmm. by myself. So I was trying to mix uh, all kind of techniques and uh, and figure out how to create something. So I was uh, studying uh, the, the old master, going to museums and uh, you know like get close to the canvas uh -huh. and see and try to understand what kind of uh, mixed uh, techniques or mixture or uh, uh, what kind of canvas is that? What, how they create such beautiful art? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so I didn't do a, a real school. Yeah. Uh, so what I suggest usually to my students mm -hmm. is uh, you're a teacher now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I yeah, saw. Yeah, yeah. You're a pr you're a professor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I do workshop right now. Yeah. I, I used to be a teacher in uh, in Italy in um, one of the most important school of uh, art and comics uh, oh, wow. in in Florence. But now I, I I don't have time to teach anymore, so yeah. I, I just yeah, you got to go move the Canary Islands. Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah. I'm too busy with surfing. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying, bro. Like that's people don't understand, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like, no, you know, it, it sounds like maybe it's it no, a little I, stupid. But, but I understand, like it's. But uh, right now, I, I choose. Uh, hey, bro, that's the reason why I moved to San Diego. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, like uh, I love teaching, but I like to do like a workshop. Uh, uh, for maybe few days, uh, twice a year, mm -hmm. and have students coming, uh, and it's fun. It's a good experience, uh, but I have no time for teaching because I'm too busy with work. Yeah, I mean it's good, right? It's yeah. good to be busy at, with yes. work. So and this sometimes is, I don't yeah. have enough time for uh, finish my covers, mm -hmm. so I, I would need other 24 hours a day. Because you know, you know Eric over there, Eric uh, Em Gist. He's a he's of a professor yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like yeah, he, yeah. he he, I talked to him and he has the same, he has a kind of yeah, the same yeah, thing yeah. like. He has to, you know, teach at night and do his work during yeah, the day. So yeah, he's like working yeah. like 
I don't know how he finds time to go to the comic shop and pick right. up books. He, we, did, we had the same comic book shop, and I oh. see him in line. I'm like, bro, you, he's like creating all this beautiful art like you do, like, you know, this fine comic yeah. book art, yeah. and he teaches and that stuff too. So it's like. Yeah, he's a great artist. Yeah. I, I, I know him, he's a very good person and oh, uh, great, an amazing artist. I love his art. He's, he's, the only, he's, the only he's the only San Diego guy with a country accent, bro. <laughs> 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 he always, yeah, he knows. I always mess with them, man. And uh, so, so the time is very short. If you wanna do, if you do this kind of work, yeah. if you work for um, <clears throat> for uh, companies, is a is a weird uh, market because uh, uh, you have to run. So sometimes you don't have the time to think about uh, uh, what you have to do because uh, honestly, if I have to do like a, a cover or even if just a one figure like a yeah. Vampirella cover, the time is always too short. And uh, I'm, I complain every time because uh, I could do. Be- I know I could do better, yeah. but uh, I have to go fast. Oh, but because man. the time is always short. It's and beautiful. And in the little little time uh, that yeah. I, I I have for uh, for myself, I, I want to enjoy going surfing yeah. or doing some sport or you gotta uh, hang out with just walk too, around, walk my dogs. <laughs> so teaching is not. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can't fit in also teaching in a school. Well, it's good to be busy with. Yeah, exactly. You know, like you're you're making a living on yeah. the thing you love, man. Right, right. Now you just need to become a pro surfer, bro, and then you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish not. I, I would never be a surfer. I know, I know. Me either, man. Like, I'm, I always tell my friends, like, uh, how good of a surfer you are. And I, I do jiu-jitsu, too. I'm like, I'm just a blue belt, bro. Like, yeah. don't, don't think I'm a black belt at surfing. Like, there's yeah, no yeah, pro yeah. in me at all, man. Yeah, so of you course. Know? Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But, like, you know, like, uh, you know, like the Hawaiians say, man, it's the, the guy that surfs the best is the one having the most, most fun, man. You know, and is that the way you feel about your art too? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I mean, uh, the, like, like, I, if you compare surfing with uh, with this kind of uh, work, is uh, if I go surfing, uh, is not something. If you do for work, uh, it's like uh, you have to compete. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, I think you got stressed as well. But when I go surfing, for me, it's just uh, relaxing. Catching some waves, be happy, and go home uh, with the uh, downloaded um, uh, stress, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, well, you haven't surfed lowers yet, have you? Sorry. Have you surfed lowers yet at trestles? Y- yes, yeah. I, I don't like too much. I, those, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's too competitive, there, exactly. bro. Like those the, kids, those kids can out surf us, right, man. It's right, like, right. Oh. like the waves are incredible. little seven-year-old kid just like yeah, just yeah, yeah, out surfing. Yeah, you, man. the spot is amazing. It's amazing, and the waves is uh, incredible. But uh, it's too it's, it's competitive. Too competitive, like work, right? Yeah. yeah. So I, I like more uh, like Swami's area. Yeah, Swami's is chill, man. Yes, yeah. because it, when I go surfing, I go for relax. I'll I don't show, go for. Uh, but I'll for show you where to line up at Swami's. You catch all the waves. Like no one ever knows. They don't. They don't. Know. I'm not gonna say it on camera, but there's a spot <laughs> in the main, in the main, you know, in the main reef where you just sit and you just catch all the waves. I'll show you, bro. Okay. I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Um, uh, I, I am ready uh, stressed when I work because I have to go really really fast mm-hmm. and uh, sometimes I'm finishing one cover and I'm already thinking how to start the next one yeah and uh, I know sometimes do you I have like a to-do list to make sure like is it like you know I have deadlines on this one yeah, it's the next yeah, one yeah, yeah. so you already got that yeah. going so I know tomorrow I have to finish this one and two days I have to finish the next one and then I have two days to finish the next one so every month is go- it's, it's just running and running and uh, this is the only uh, bad uh, things uh, like I mean I love my work and I, I can't yeah. complain about anything because I love everything even the editors are good people and very mm-hmm. um, easy um, how you say like uh, I don't know. The, it's the easy one. going, like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So mellow. Yeah. So it's everything is is smooth and everything everything go very very well. The only thing is the the time is too short. Uh-huh. And uh, I uh, I'm jealous about uh, some artists that I see maybe online or, or even friends. Yeah. The, the, they are painters. Mm-hmm. And uh, and they just uh, take all the <laughs> time they want to make one painting and they say oh that's that's amazing because they just wake up at 11, 12, yeah. they take a coffee, they start doing some drawing, <laughs> then uh, they for one painting, they takes like a month. Like I was watching that movie, you watched that movie Dali, where uh, you just like wake up, ha- yeah. have an orgy, 
<laughs> have a I coffee, <laughs> and then at 11 o'clock, paint for like 10 minutes. Like, I'm tired. I'm gonna go. Let's let's go yeah. get a drink. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. damn, is that the life? So I have many friends, lucky friends. That they are painters and they do traditional art. They are amazing artists. They 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 do very beautiful art. And uh, but you know they work uh, probably less. Uh, I don't know how you say like uh, half uh, time, maybe less than half time than me. Uh huh. Uh, like a part they, time? Like, yeah, like, I mean, they, 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 they do like one painting in one month. Okay, also oh, with so one, one, one figure. One figure, yeah. Imagine like one woman, so they take uh, uh, three days for take the picture of the model, yeah. they choose one picture. Do they get paid, they they get paid uh, good for that too? Yeah, yeah. They yeah, can yeah, make yeah. a living? The, sure, yeah, yeah. They, wow, wow. So they maybe, I don't know, they, they take uh, three days for a drawing. Yeah. Uh, and then a month for painting, and this one woman uh, sitting on a sofa. So th that's amazing because yeah, yeah, they yeah, take yeah. all the time they want. For me, in two days, I have to finish a cover. Uh -huh. So I have two days to, to, to do the there's all a lot of There's always a lot of covers for Vampirella, yeah, right? So yeah, there yeah, is yeah. no time for uh, take pictures of a model. Sometimes uh, uh, there is no time for a drawing. You have to do very quick sketch and then start painting it directly. Uh -huh. And then, uh, you know, I like all these uh, running, running crazy yeah, 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 yeah. things. So that's why I'm not very happy at the end because uh, I know I could do better if I had more time mm -hmm. for, uh, for like my other friends. Yeah, yeah. But this is the that's the business yeah, for in, in comic industries and uh, illustrations and working for movies, mm -hmm. working for comics is uh, is always running. You do fast. You have deadlines. You have to go uh, really, really. Uh, uh, face and Maybe fast focus. And straight. You have to focus. focus. You, you have the target. You have to hit them. Yeah. You, you can't make a. You, you can be late on the deadlines because they have to go to print and uh, you know it's it's a uh, it's business. Well, let me tell you, man. Move to California, bro. <laughs> and then uh, you can paint. Swell comes. You know, summertime you paint all day, man. Yeah. Because yeah. it's flat. And then uh, fall comes, you're gonna go surf at Scripps. <laughs> you know, like don't worry, man. But uh, hey, you're gonna be at a couple cons, right? Like. Um, coming up yes now after New York Comic Con I'll be in uh, Singapore wow awesome no, Any ways sorry, I'll there's be ways out in Singapore too right I don't, I don't know. know I don't think so I think so I thought there uh, were no, but no before New York I go to Belgium Belgium uh, okay Ghent. you can surf a river mm. they got nah, river surfing maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I should be in Luca Luca Comics but not sure yet it depends uh, the next week so how, <laughs> how we'll be so I have uh, other Two, two conventions and then Singapore. Okay. And next year probably Orlando, Orlando. London. And uh, I didn't plan yet, but other two conventions and then uh, San Diego. San Diego. Yeah, sure. yeah, we're gonna kick it, man. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna surf. Yeah, San don't worry. Sure. So it's uh, um, working. Um, it, it, uh, I know a lot of my friends. I, you're one of the best. Everybody respects. I mean, all, as a fan, everybody loves your art, man. They, Thank you very much. You know, Thanks a lot. Like working. Um, your fans like get your commissions at and or request commissions. So I usually Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, or my email. Uh, uh, so I, that's, that's very easy. Right now, it's very easy to, to get in touch uh, yeah. with everybody. So do you have it? You have, you have uh, open spots for your commission right now? That yeah, 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 sure, yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. So guys, man, make sure you guys go over to Lucio Lucio Perillo's Instagram, DM him for his, uh, you know, for for commissions. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm I'm seeing one right now. I'm gonna put it on camera. Um, it's beautiful, massive Batman. Look so, at that. So that's a crazy vampire Batman. The vampire Batman. <laughs> I, I thought that was a Batman who laughs, man. I was like, that's a crazy Batman who laughs, but it's a vampire. Oh, I could see. Dude. Yeah, I could see. That's sick. And then, uh, you know, over here, you, did, you, you know, you're always on, uh, you know, Vampirella, and you're doing a lot of DC, Marvel, and even indie stuff, man. You're, you're yeah. all over the place, bro. Yeah. So uh, make sure you guys uh, check out Lucio. And hey man, you're always a good friend, bro, and I always appreciate you coming on, man. Right, thank you. Yeah, give him a holler, man.